Okay, in this video I am going to talk about something called a polymer. I'm not really going to focus too much on polymers of alkenes. If you remember from previous videos, alkenes are molecules that have a carbon-carbon double bond. I am going to focus on what a polymer is because that's going to become important in the last collection of videos coming up. So, polymers. Polymers are large, long-chain molecules. I put large in quotes because compared to us, all molecules are relatively small, but they're large compared to most other molecules that we think about most of the time. They are found in biology. Starch is a polymer. DNA is a polymer. Protein molecules are polymers. They are also found in the synthetic world. Polyester is a type of polymer molecule. What polymers are is they are made of small molecules, but the small molecules are connected to each other in a repeating way over and over again. So imagine that these are a bunch of small molecules. These are called monomers. Mono means one. Mer just means thing. So these are little one things. But I could connect them to each other. I could attach them all to each other in more or less the same way over and over again and make something like that. This would be a polymer. And poly just means many. So mer again just means thing. Polymer just means a many thing. It's, it's something. Think of these as like bricks. And these are, you know, you connect the bricks together and you can make a wall or something much bigger. So polymers are just big molecules made by connecting a bunch of little molecules to each other in more or less the same way over and over again. So I'm going to skip this slide. These are all examples of polymers, but I, this one I'm just going to show you. If I take three of these molecules and I put them right next to each other and I break the carbon-carbon double bond there and turn it into a single bond, then this carbon can have an extra attachment, and that carbon can also have an extra attachment. So if I take three of them, I can connect them to each other. You can see that the double bond is gone now, but now they have, I've taken three of these little molecules and used them to make a bigger molecule. So this would be an example of a monomer, and this would be an example of a polymer. You might have heard of polystyrene before. It is a plastic, and it's basically made of this molecule connected to itself over and over and over again. So we are going to talk about polymers later in these videos, and we're also going to talk about them when we talk about protein molecules. We can skip this slide. What do I want you to know? I want you to know what a monomer is. That's a little molecule that can be connected. You can take a bunch of them and connect them to each other to make a polymer. You should know what a polymer is. You should be able to look at the formula of a monomer and polymer and be able to tell me how many monomers were used to make up the polymer. You'll see an example of this coming up, but in a later video. And that's the end of this video talking about polymers.